SR Counter Trend Gold and Silver having a big day. 17 of 19 on the strategies today. Taking entries, buying the dip on this strong uptrend in the metals. You can see these each getting in at different price points at different times. Some of these are one minute, five minute, 15 minute charts. And you see gold here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the eight winners. Nine and ten, these are the two losers. So eight, eight for ten on gold. Silver was nine for nine. So 17 out of 19 total on the SR Kenner trends in the in the metals. As you can see, this can be a very active at times, and it can be highly correlated. All these SR Kenner trends can be highly correlated. One way to think of this is position sizing when the signal is strong. Many strategies might take a position. So you if you trade multiple uh, multiple mar multiple SR counter trends on the same symbol, then you have to make sure that you use um, contract sizing uh, correctly. So this is the one million dollar MNS, and so each uh, each strategy takes one contract per one million, and you can you can um, you know move it down to micros as well, and so. Uh, 17 out of 19 on the signals today. Gold and silver SR counter trends. And I want to go look, look at the portfolio calculator as well. And we're waiting for a drawdown entry alert. We came close to that yesterday. I want to show you where we are in that and why I did not trade today. We are close to that drawdown entry alert. 26,907.50. I wanted 30. But the reason that I was hesitant is because if you take out the NASDAQ... You're almost at an equity peak. So this itself could be a portfolio. If you're tired of the NASDAQ, if you just want to trade um, S&P, gold, silver, copper, crude oil, natural gas, that's what this portfolio would include with 78 strategies. And so the, and the NASDAQ can be, um, you know, the wild card in all of this. It can make a lot or lose a lot and, and very uh, make big changes in the portfolio. So... Um, this is why I didn't didn't get in because what if the Nasdaq continues to uh, underperform and then these other strategies that are near equity peaks that should be at equity peaks today after all these SR counter trends hit equity peaks it would have been a good day to trade it'd have been a good day to start so far but um, you know we're at um, near equity peaks so what if this goes through a normal what if this goes through a normal drawdown? Let's look at the drawdown curve. If this goes through a normal drawdown, and it hadn't been in more of a more than a twenty-two thousand dollar drawdown since this point, it ran up from um, June of 2023. So June of 2023, this was in a forty-seven thousand dollar drawdown. It ran up, and the biggest drawdown since then has been about twenty-two thousand. So. In about 10 months, the biggest drawdown just trade. If you remove the NASDAQ from this portfolio, the biggest drawdown is about 22,000 over an average annual return of 210,000, which is pretty good. So, you know, it's had worst case drawdowns. I wouldn't, uh, you know, trade on the fact that it wouldn't have worse than a $22,000 drawdown, but that is representative of the performance. And so, what if this thing goes, you know, into that? You know, it, it regularly comes into this twenty thousand dollar level, um, and so what if the Nasdaq continues to underperform as a wild card, and this goes into a twenty thousand dollar drawdown at the same time? And so I would like to see um, these strategies go into a normal drawdown, and you know, see where the Nasdaq is, and then have a drawdown entry alert for this type of portfolio with one hundred and ten strategies. So let's look at the NASDAQ strategies for today. They're performing pretty well, actually, in the overnight session. So here are the five strategies that trade either overnight or just during the session from the start of the session at during the Asia session, starting at uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. These strategies were sloppy yesterday, but today, overall, net result is really good. Um, minus 1,025. In the 60-minute um, breakout, but then the this 60-minute breakout is plus 1785. This one VSD NQ is up 1500. 
This one is up 3100. You can see how it's, uh, this is the most aggressive one. And so it went through a choppy session yesterday. It was down 4000 yesterday. It's up 3100 today. Um, and so yesterday, or today, the session started at 5 o'clock. It got short, and then it got long. I don't know what this was right there, but oftentimes if you see a spike like that in the overnight session, there's uh, it can be indicative of the trend, even though if there's pullback, even if there's additional pullback. And so uh, the NASDAQ, the liquidity, the pullback in the NASDAQ was just under 3% from the high, intraday high to the intraday low. And the liquidity is uh, saved it from a, a greater than 3% drawdown. And this market is just pushing higher. And VSD uh, has captured that 3,100. And then we have VSD 2024 up 1,900 on the day. So overall, the swing strategies are performing well. Let's look at the day trade strategies. There's just not a lot of day trade signals. Because the price action is, you know, once again, it's overnight. Uh, I've not seen a mar. I don't remember seeing a market that has uh, this many uh, sharp washouts um, while the VIX remains as low as it does. Typically, when the VIX is low, then daily ranges and the VIX are low. The market, uh, you know, is smooth. is is a, has a more smooth path intraday on its way higher. And every now and then you'll get these, but we've had a lot of washout stop running type price action for the current VIX level. So it's, that's very interesting to me. Um, other day trade charts, let's take a look. Momentum reversal down 1225, and we have it tried to short it, and then we have um, EVP1 getting long up here. AT2022 and tick wave got long at the open. Those gap ups have some washouts at the open and overnight strategy in the S&P after hours plus 425 ES counter trend. No trades in this workspace, a short trade tick fader in it right here, but just a very narrow range intraday. We continue to see a lot of gaps in this market. A lot of net moves are overnight gap down, chop around, chop around, gap up. And then sideways during the day. That's why we have our overnight strategies. And then you have um, DTM4 was down yesterday. And then you know none in the ES trend workspace. So the ES trend has only three strategies. The NASDAQ trend only has five strategies. And the rest, the majority of our strategies in this workspace are counter trend for the day trade. and Or overnight strategies. Same thing with the NASDAQ counter trend. Many more counter trend strategies, two workspaces worth of counter trend strategies, and then five overnight or session strategies to take advantage of what we're seeing in these charts of these, these, these gaps that uh, where the trades take place intraday. Crude oil, um, not much going on in crude oil or natural gas today. So that is the update that I wanted to share uh, with you on this uh, Thursday. One more trading day left. Anxious to trade this portfolio. Um, but this is we're waiting for a drawdown entry alert and that is that is what we're waiting for and that's why we're waiting for it as I explain. Hey David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.